More often than not, I get asked for recommendations of easy weapons to use in Planet Side 2. A question that typically comes from new players who are just getting into the game and learning the shooting mechanics. You know, sort of looking for an on-ramp weapon that'll help to ease them into more of a rhythm with the game and its gunplay. So today, I figured we'd offer that exact guidance. G'day there once again viewers, your mate Kamikaze78 here, and today we're going to talk about some of the easiest weapons to use in the game, this time focusing on the VS Armory. So once again folks, this video represents a continuation of the mini-series that we've done now for both the Terran Republic and the new conglomerate armories over the last couple of weeks. Keeping on the same theme of previous videos, the goal here is all about assisting new players in picking out some weapons that are solid choices for a less experienced player, as far as mechanical skill with the game's gunplay is concerned. You know, the kinds of weapons that come with characteristics that make them easier to use, but also have the firepower and the general usability to take such a player that little bit further as they get better at the game. Weapons that teach you an important skill or give you some cool answers to the problems that you'll face in game, but are again, relatively easy to use. And I get it, you'll often hear a lot of experienced players out there, myself included, always tell new players to not spend their certs on new weapons because, well, those class upgrades are often a far better return on investment. But truth be told, there's something to be said for some variety in your weapon selection as well. So without further ado, let's get into some of these weapons. And to get the ball rolling for the day, I thought we would take a moment to um, throw a bit of a curveball, if I'm being honest. When we think about quote-unquote easy weapons for the Vanu Sovereignty LMG arsenal in particular, I'm willing to bet that 90% of people out there are going to think about one weapon and, well, one weapon only. And that is, of course, the Orion VS-54A and, well, its directive counterpart, the Beetlejuice for that matter. The default LMG has carried a reputation for years of being a point-and-click adventure. However, I truly believe there is another contender when it comes to easy yet effective LMGs for the Vanu Sovereignty, that being the Pulsar LSW. Now, now, it is true the Pulsar LSW does tune the rate of fire down quite a fair amount, which hurts its overall lethality, but where it makes up for that is, firstly, the recoil pattern, which is far milder by comparison to the Beetlejuice, and secondly, in its magazine size, which gives you 50% more ammunition per reload to work with out of the gate. Great for dealing with those crowd control situations that you'll face in-game, which is especially helpful as a new player, especially as you work out what magazine economy looks like in Planet Side 2 and how many kills you can realistically get without catching yourself out with a reload. But wait, there's more. Throw on the extended magazine attachment available to the weapon and that gives you 150 rounds per reload. Basically, you become a walking mana AI turret, which again is pretty sweet. In addition to that, the Pulsar LSW's reload speed doesn't actually take that much of a hit despite the magazine size increase. Only a 0.09 second increase in short reload time by comparison to the Orion, which is negligible at best. All of these factors make the Pulsar LSW a very reliable and dependable weapon for a newcomer to the game. Even as someone like myself, who's been playing the game for a very long time, it feels incredibly smooth to use and is even a weapon that I'll return to willingly from time to time. The improved accuracy and recoil control also means that it's a great tool to train headshot accuracy with, which will incidentally reward you with faster time to kills and something that is fit to hold out against the masses. Oh, and did we mention that it only costs 320 five certs to unlock? Seriously, make this an addition to your armory, you won't regret it. Now, all right, of all the weapons that we're going to talk about in this video, I feel like this one sits in a bit of a special place, somewhat as an exception to the rule here. The whole point of this mini-series has always been about suggesting weapons that are, yes, easy to use, but also teach valuable lessons and are something that has the capacity to take you further as a player. The VEC Horizon doesn't really teach you anything that is going to translate to other weapons well. In fact, it does the complete opposite of that for that matter. Now, for those who don't know, this is a carbine that splits its projectiles into three pellets that fire in either a perfectly horizontal or vertical line, depending on whether or not you're hip firing or aiming down sights. And the very nature of that mechanic trains you to aim for center mass as opposed for the head, or even rewards you for not having your crosshair placement on target at all at times. So again, it teaches you all of the wrong things, but there's also just no denying that it is 
indisputably one of the easiest weapons to use in the entire game. What would normally account for a miss with any other weapon in the game may very well actually be a hit with the Horizon. And with that combo, there is absolutely no denying that this is some of the most dumb fun you can have on a light assault as you numer around the battlefield flying circles around your opponents. Want to make this weapon even less discriminant and sort of, you know, attach the to whom it may concern argument whenever you fire it? Throw on the unstable ammunition attachment and at that point, it actually becomes a challenge to miss a target with this weapon in the first place, quite frankly. If you're missing people with the horizon and you're running unstable ammunition, then I've got a feeling that you may be playing the wrong genre of game. <laughs> you know, backhanded comments aside, yes, this weapon is expensive as hell, and if I'm looking to really maximize my headshot ratios and score optimal time to kills, I'm probably not going to pick up the horizon. But on the contrary, if I feel like just painting an area in fire and still managing to wipe a dude out, then this is a top tier pick and is some of the most fun you can have in the game while just partially turning your brain off. But all right, if the Horizon is the paint roller of Planet Side 2, then the Pulsar C is the scalpel. This little number has garnered one hell of a reputation within the Planet Side 2 community as being one of the most consistent and effective carbines to have graced Araxis. And, well, I think the gameplay here speaks for itself, surely. Sure, it slows the rate of fire down significantly and places emphasis on landing those heavy hits, which consequently means that missing with this weapon can feel incredibly punishing. Thankfully though, the Pulsar C sports one of the most consistent recoil patterns in the entire VS Carbine lineup, hell I would even argue the entire game for that matter, which really allows you to put some stupidly effective mid to long range kills under your belt with the Pulsar C. And that in of itself opens the doors to new play styles for you on your Light Assault class. The weapon's DPS also doesn't really take that much of a hit to allow for such a recoil pattern to exist, and it still sports a very respectable time to kill should you be able to place your shots right. So don't don't be mistaken, in close quarters combat this weapon is still a true powerhouse despite its effectiveness at range. And that is something that the weapon does a really good job at teaching you as a new player. Crosshair placement. It really teaches you the benefit of patience and making those small adjustments before you let loose on the trigger. You know, making sure that all of your shots connect as you need them to. It's a skill that will translate well to a lot of other weapons in the game. And being honest with you all here, if there was a weapon that I would want to learn such skills with again, if I had to do it from scratch, it would probably be the Pulsar C. Now, moving on, there are always going to be times where you just want to feel comfortable with your weapon, right? Feel like it's almost nurturing you towards a kill with very little effort from yourself. Well, the Terminus VX9 is just about as close as you can get to that in the VS Arsenal without just switching off to some kind of explosive spam avenue. The Terminus takes the default Pulsar VS1 assault rifle, just kind of amps it up a little bit when it comes to the damage output, and while yes, one may assume that this is just going to make the weapon kick like an absolute mule, it really doesn't in this case here. The Terminus is still extremely easy to manage, and even maintains some other incredible handling stats such as a 1.9 second reload time. It's rare to see a weapon with such a fast rate of fire with such a short reload time, which makes it incredibly forgiving for a new player as you learn the art of reload timing and magazine economy. Another benefit that the Terminus carries by having such a predictable and easy to manage recoil pattern is that it allows you to focus entirely on managing the cone of fire bloom of the weapon. Cone of fire management is one of the, if not the most important skill to master in Planet Side 2 gunplay, I would argue. And if you come across a weapon that doesn't really provide much of a challenge in the recoil department, then you're able to put a bit more attention attention to the other element of weaponry control, which is, again, your cone of fire management. And again, what you learn from that experience, and how slash when you should be bursting the weapon, so on and so forth, will make your gameplay far better in the long run, not just with the Terminus, but with every other gun in the game. Overall, the Terminus is very new player friendly, but is also just downright effective in melting opponents with some good aim from yourself. 100% worth your time as a newer player to the game. But alright, for our last entry in today's video, I don't think there was any denying that this little number was going to emerge at some point. The VES Canis. This SMG was the pioneer for the unstable ammunition type all of those years ago, and it was also the weapon which sported the absolutely busted iteration of unstable ammunition as well. For those who weren't around when unstable ammo first came out, it sported a 2 times headshot multiplier I believe, which meant that not only was it easier to score headshots, and I mean way easier, but but it was also dealing the damage boost that you would expect to come from headshots. Crazy stuff, Planet Side was a true hellscape when this thing first came out as the community 
worked out exactly what unstable ammo was doing to the canis. But nonetheless, that's not the version of the unstable ammo we have now. But if you jam it on a canis, you're pretty much greeted by one of the best SMGs in the game as far as ease of use is concerned. We all know that SMGs are all about hipfire shenanigans for the most part, hey? So why not make your hipfire even more reliable by making the projectiles you fire larger? Oh, what a big brain strategy right there, truth be told. Jokes aside, like the Horizon, this weapon doesn't do much in the way of actually teaching you new skills that are transferable to other weapons, it must be said. But what it does do for you is unlock new playstyles such as being an SMG infiltrator. And while the other SMGs in the VS arsenal are serviceable, some more than others, it just can't be denied that the Canis has probably got the easiest point and click adventure playstyle attached to it. Personally, I've just been found to look up and turn the Canis into an AA gun against a light assault that's flying above me, and it's done so with surprising effectiveness. So yeah, there's that I guess. <laughs> But there you have it folks, my list of the easiest weapons to use in Planet Side 2 for the Vanu Sovereignty. But now I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are some of the weapons you would recommend to new players who started out in Planet Side 2 on the Vanu Sovereignty? Let me know down below guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to backhand the like button as it does go a long way to supporting the channel. And say you're enjoying the content and you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button whilst you're at it guys to stay up to date with all future video releases and streams that we do right here on YouTube. As always, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.